MLTA versus MRTA. If you decide to buy a property on loan, you will need to buy insurance to cover the debt amount so that you don't pass on the loan to your immediate family members when something happens to you. The common insurances will be MLTA and MRTA. So in this video, let's go over the pros and cons for both insurances to help you decide your insurance choice. Hi, I'm Eva Wong here, your wealth coach to achieve early retirement. If you wish to learn how to become financial savvy and to retire early, remember to subscribe to this channel here. MRTA or Mortgage Reducing Term Assurance is the most popular and economical option for property loan borrower. When you take up a bank loan, this type of insurance is normally proposed by the bank and bundled as a package with the bank loan. It is a type of term loan and mostly comes with single premium. The purchase of MRTA is not compulsory for the bank loan but highly recommended to take up for protection. Most banks will offer more competitive loan interest rate to the borrowers if the borrowers buy the MRTA with them. The borrower can choose the tenure of the insurance. It can cover the whole duration for the loan tenure or it can cover only a few years. However, it is always recommended to cover the whole loan tenure so that it serves its purpose of not passing the loan to the family members. This type of insurance is to protect the bank. When there is any unfortunate event happens to the borrower, the insurance company will pay out the outstanding loan amount to the bank. Hence, there is no payout to the borrower's family members. Due to this, the insurance coverage will reduce following the outstanding loan amount throughout the loan tenure, resulting in cheaper premium overall compared to MLTA. That's the meaning of reducing term assurance. MLTA, on the other hand, is Mortgage Level Term Assurance. As the name suggests, the protection is level, same throughout the insurance term. In other words, the sum assured will not reduce like MRTA when the outstanding loan amount is reducing. MLTA is normally offered by insurance companies. Due to this feature, MLTA caters for family needs as well. When the unfortunate thing happens to the borrower, the insurance company will pay out to settle the outstanding loan amount. Then, the remaining sum assured will be paid to the family members too. In addition, the borrowers can add on additional rider benefits to the MLTA. MRTA mostly covers the permanent disability and death, while MLTA can cover for critical illnesses with additional premium. This type of insurance indeed has more comprehensive protection compared to MRTA. So, what are the pros and cons for both types of insurances? First, in terms of cost, MLTA is more costly compared to MRTA. Generally, the cost of MLTA can be 5 to 10 times of MRTA. If one is purchasing MRTA, as it mostly comes as a package with the bank loan, the borrower does not need to fork out additional monies to pay the premium. It can be included in the bank loan amount. For MLTA, the insured needs to buy using his own money. Second, in terms of protection, MRTA provides only the basic level of protection. The protection is reducing to suit the outstanding loan amount. MLTA provides more comprehensive coverage, including the critical illness with additional premium, and they can be additional payout for the insured's family members too. Lastly, MRTA policy is not transferable and it is tied with one single loan. MLTA once taken, it can be used for several loans or transferable to cater for another loan when the first loan is paid off. It gives more flexibility to the borrower. That's all for my sharing this time and thank you for watching this video and I do hope that you like it. Comment below what have you learned from this video and do subscribe to my channel for more early retirement tips and I'll see you again. Bye!